Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here, welcome to the Retro Future. I'm gonna be showing you an accessory today that I can pretty much guarantee no one has ever heard of before. This was released exclusively in Japan and pretty much immediately flopped, meaning there's very few of these in the world. This one is brand new, unopened, absolutely brand new. I paid an extortionate amount of money for it uh, directly from Japan, so it hasn't even made it onto eBay. I very much doubt there's any of these in the UK, and the numbers of production are so low, we might never find another one. So this right here is the Campho for the Game Boy Advance. Why on earth is there a person having a video call on a Game Boy Advance? Let's, let's find out. Before we open it, here's what I managed to find out about the Campho online. IGN wrote an article in 2004, which shows the Campho Advance sold for 19,000 yen, which is equal to $164. However, when adjusted for inflation, we start to see the issue. Hang on, enhance, it's equal to $242 which is equal to a lot of f***ing money for a Game Boy accessory. Hmm, maybe that's why it failed. Also in the IGN article, you can see that the Campho has an astonishing 0.1 megapixels and five whole frames per second, which isn't far off a slideshow. Hello? Can you hear me? Maybe that's why it failed. Also, Digital Act only made 10,000 units, so even they knew it wasn't gonna take over the world, and it was seemingly only available to buy on their website. The website no longer exists. However, I was able to recover some of it from a time machine, and it's just so 2004. We can see here it lists all of the specifications, but unfortunately, there's not much else we can look at, other than the actual unit itself. So when I mean this box is brand new, I genuinely mean this box is brand new. There is not a speck of damage on this box anywhere. I'm super excited to have this in my collection. I actually have been after one for quite a long time. It's extremely rare. It's made by a company called Digital Act. It is actually licensed by Nintendo, which is mind blowing. There was not an official Game Boy Advance camera. Is it just a camera? What else does it do? I mean, there's definitely two people having a call on this Game Boy. Is it a Skype device? Is it some sort of Zoom call thing? Honestly, I cannot believe I have this. The answer is yes. It is quite literally a conferencing device for the Game Boy Advance. Can you believe it? <laughs> Everything on the box is in Japanese, so I'm not gonna be able to read it to you, but I doubt very much it's gonna be that important. Let's just get inside and take a look. I mean, look at that. That cardboard is so rigid. It's never been opened before. <sighs> wow, here we go. Oh my goodness me. So let's take a look at what we have inside the box. So we've got a manual here, which is very nice. We've got a red charger. Now that is unique. Now, although this isn't an officially licensed Nintendo charger, it doesn't actually say Nintendo on it anywhere. It just says digital act on the back and then Campho. This is pretty much identical to the Game Boy Advance charger and it will actually charge your Game Boy Advance. So it's really cool that it's come in red because previously they only came in boring colors. So there we have the charger. Again, completely unused, never opened, never used before. This might be the first time these prongs have ever been flicked outwards. Oh. That was a little bit less satisfying than I thought it would be. <laughs> okay, what else have we got in here? Right, we have this stuff. <gasps> wow, I thought that was just a part of the picture, but no, it actually comes with a conferencing headphone, a little headset thing right there with a microphone. That is fantastic. Let's take a look at this stuff. So there we have the headphone with the microphone on there. Pretty standard looking thing. Does it have any branding on it at all? Uh, no, it doesn't. So I'd say this is probably just a standard one. So then the last two things included in the box are the uh, telephone cables, the landline cables, so that you can actually call someone on this thing. And then the accessory itself. 
Here it is, the Campho for the Game Boy Advance. What an absolute beast. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this actually requires power to work. It does not just get the power from the Game Boy port on the Game Boy. It actually requires an additional input from your mains, which is what this is. But you could obviously just use your regular uh, Game Boy Advance one and you don't need to plug in the Game Boy and this, it's just this that needs to be plugged in. So you have here on the side the charging port, below it you have the uh, the headphone in, which is slightly smaller than a 3.5 millimeter one. On the other side you have that landline port to connect it to your um, telephone. And then you have the camera on the front. Now. I'm going to be completely honest with you, we're never going to be able to actually use this thing because no one is going to have one and I don't have a landline number anyway, but how on earth I'd manage to get two, connect them to a landline and try and call someone, I don't know. Maybe even this needs a server that might not even still be in existence, but, but you can see the sort of thing that happens here. There's an adapter there so you can plug it into your telephone, one goes into the campho, and there you have it, you're then connected. Um, I'm going to obviously keep my eye out and see if I can find another one. However, don't click off just yet, we can fully still see this thing in action. So let's go ahead and grab a couple of Game Boys and try and work out why this in insanely ahead of its time thing failed. Let's go ahead and plug it in to the Game Boy. You can see it goes in there just like that. And it looks pretty neat, to be honest with you, for something that's supposedly going to be like a, a conferencing thing, potentially for business people. I imagine this was extremely expensive back in the day. It actually looks really, really neat. Now, when you plug in the campho and don't plug it into the mains, it isn't actually going to recognize that there's a game plugged in. It isn't until we then plug it into the mains that we're going to be able to see something happen. Now, for this, I'm going to have to use a Japanese transformer, otherwise we will blow up the campho, which we definitely don't want to do. Let's go ahead and plug that in. Boom. There we have it. Now, let's turn it on and see the Nintendo logo, which is super duper exciting. Okay. So, straight away, we have the camera. Look at that, it immediately works straight away. And you can see up there in the corner, in the top left corner, the black box, which would be um, yourself. It would show yourself up there and then presumably the person you're calling here. So it's exactly like you'd see on FaceTime, exactly like you'd see on Skype, exactly like you'd see on Zoom. How ahead of its time is this? It's absolutely insane. Now, we might start to see some of the reasons why this thing failed. The screen is just so hard to see. I mean, it's hard to see at the best of times, but having a video call with someone, it's just gonna make it nearly impossible to do anything on here for longer than five minutes because you're gonna be squinting and angling it into the light. There was obviously a Game Boy Advance SP that was later released called the AGS 101 that actually has a stunning backlit screen. And that was an official thing that was actually a huge improvement to the Game Boy. So potentially some people would have used it on this and had a much better experience, but you know, no, no one's gonna have to wanna go out and buy an additional Game Boy to just view the screen of this accessory. It starts to get stupidly expensive. You can, however, see that the quality looks infinitely better, though, once you plug it into the AGS-101 model. Now, one thing I would also like to try briefly before we have a little look around the menu is plugging it into a Nintendo DS Lite and seeing what happens. There we go. Okay. We're in. Is it going to work? No. Completely white screen. How interesting. That is really, really bizarre, isn't it? That is really bizarre. It just completely doesn't work. I have absolutely no idea why that could possibly be. Now you can actually see there that the quality is not bad at all. I've made a video on a Game Boy Advance camera accessory that was unofficial and the quality of it was pretty shocking. So this is actually Pretty damn good. Look at that. Obviously lots of defined pixels and stuff. You can clearly see it's a fairly low resolution camera, but it is pretty damn impressive considering this is from 2004 and the original Game Boy camera looks like this. This looks incredible. <laughs> 
let's have a little look around the menu system. So we've got phone and we've got settings. If we were to go into phone, you can see there that the small little camera will pop up into the top left hand corner. You can see we've got dial, we've got add, we've got edit and we've got delete. So let's go ahead and add and then we can select dial and it would actually call the person and then you would see hopefully yourself there and the person you're calling there. So it's super duper cool. Now obviously all the settings are in Japanese, so let's go ahead and take the Google Translate app and see if we can find out what these are. So we have speaker on Rio, mic on Rio, Agasa Chasey, contrast butterfly, Iso flip, and guys and seti well i don't know what any of those are i mean let's just try this one there we go so we've just got settings for potentially the volume i mean that's that's fairly straightforward and again that looks like it's potentially just the volume for the microphone i mean it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory stuff it seems like it's a really really neat and self-explanatory thing I'm not totally sure why this wouldn't have taken off more. I can imagine being younger, having a Game Boy Advance SP, being able to video call my friend is unheard of in 2004. You know, there's no way I would have had access to a laptop or a telephone. So to be able to call my friend would have been the coolest thing ever. Absolutely mind-blowingly cool. I mean, my, me and my brother would have done it all the time somehow, even though we're in the same household. But yeah, a seriously, seriously cool accessory. I'm sorry I can't show it working in a little bit better detail, but hopefully this has still been interesting and insightful. I mean, the fact that this thing exists just absolutely blows my mind, seriously. And the quality of it is just so decent. Like it really is just phenomenal. Try and do some research, see what you can find, pop it in my community Facebook page. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, subscribe if you are new to the channel, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.